Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. In my journey to add more to my toy collection, specializing in compact toys, inspired by Polly Pockets, of course, I came across these frozen toys. Here is what they look like. There are five of them over here. It's hard to hold them all because I only have two arms. They are compacts designed to look like little suitcases. There's different designs on the front. We also have characters, a bunch of little accessories, and over here, you can see how it looks when it's open. So it opens just like a Polly Pocket. They also have this huge Mama Jamma right here. This is basically five of the compacts combined because this is huge. I don't know why they decided to make this one bigger than the others. It was more expensive than the other ones. And on the back, there seems to be a lot more going on. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these. These are called Pop Adventures. As usual, I'm gonna start with the pink one over here. This one is called Family Game Night. It's right over here under the logo. All of these are from the Frozen 2 movie. I actually watched Frozen 2 before I filmed this video to make sure that I knew all the new characters and everything else that was going on. So here we have Anna and she has that little key that goes right in there. We have a lot of accessories and the interior is that game night scene from the movie. They were playing charades and Olaf, of course, kept winning because he can transform into any shape. On the back, we can see how it looks opened up with all the accessories displayed. So let's go ahead and open this up. This little suitcase is so beautiful. I love the symbol on the front. I love all of the textures. They continued the textures all the way on the back. We can see the date on here, which is 2018. I could have sworn Frozen 2 came out last year. The handle is super pretty. It's got some kind of pearlescent paint on it and those beautiful patterns. This little loop is where the key goes. So you just hook this right over here. Let's go ahead and unlock this with the key. So you just push it in and it pops right open. Inside we get this squishy couch. So this was on the box. It's actually not that squishy. It's a little squishy. And inside we see the parlor where they play charades. This giant fireplace over here and it bends down when you close the compact. And in here is the actual fire. The patterns on these it's just so gorgeous. And over here, we have a beautiful graphic of Elsa, Sven, and Kristoff. And the library in the background, this beautiful window. Anna is the main character here, so here she is in her beautiful green dress. Something freaky, though, is her feet are also green. They could have taken the time to color that in because that's really freaky. You'll also notice that she has a hinge. That's one of the reasons why I bought the set, because I just love that signature poly hinge. She can also move her head and her arms. Her dress has these beautiful patterns as well. Overall, she feels really, really nice. It's a very lightweight plastic and it's also very bendy, just like the couch. I love the feel, I love the look, and I love her face. I think they did a really good job capturing her cuteness. We also get a board where Olaf is doing different poses. And we have a marshmallow on a stick, some hot cocoa, and a bell. This next one is a maroon compact this time, and this is called Enchanted Forest Set. This is the scene where Elsa discovers the Enchanted Forest. We only get a couple accessories here, so of course we have Elsa and Bruni the fire spirit, and of course the key to the compact. On the back, this is how it looks displayed. Same thing with this one, same pattern and textures. Like I said before, this compact feels really, really nice. I love this suitcase design so much. Now let's unlock this one and see what's inside. This looks really, really interesting. I see some mechanics over here that I've never seen before. This tent folds down and this tree is attached to the back here. I guess it keeps it from falling over. Down here, we have a campfire, which is Bruni's bed. 
The tent has such a beautiful design to it. I love that it's dark because the second movie is a little bit darker than the first. There's fall leaves all over the floor, this wooden sign here, and of course the tree which is attached to the background. I love the color of this tree. Back there is another beautiful graphic. We have the enchanted forest with Ryder and Honey Marion just hanging out. I just noticed that inside of the tent on the floor, which is really hard to see, there is another pattern. I really love that they used a bunch of patterns here because that is part of the culture and the background that this movie was based on. Our main character here is Elsa and she's got her battle dress on complete with a cape, new designs. She definitely went shopping just to go to the Enchanted Forest. Again, I really love how this feels. It's very rubbery, almost like silicone, but not really silicone. I don't even know how to explain it. It's definitely plastic and her hinge, love it. And they did a good job with her face as well. I think it looks like a cuter, chibi version of Elsa. Here is the fire spirit, Bruni, and he is absolutely adorable. There is really good detail on him. We can see his little toes, the patterns, his funny little face. I love it. And we also get this hammock, which is another squishy, as the box says. This next one is sky blue and it is called Olaf's bedroom. I honestly didn't know he had a bedroom, but apparently it looks like this. I just watched the movie and I already forgot what I've seen. He gets some really cool summer accessories. This is what it looks like and he ironically has a summer themed bedroom. This is the back of the box and of course, Olaf is magic so he no longer melts. So this one does have a new symbol. It is a snowflake this time and I'm super glad that they did that because I was really hoping for some different symbols here. And everything else looks the same which is fine by me because I love that it looks cohesive. We have a cute little beach. There's a sand castle over here. A mountain of sand with starfish. We also have this pole which helps bring the compact open when you unlock it. A beach umbrella with that same mechanism where it's attached to the back of the compact. And this giant water slide which goes all the way out into the beach. This is made of straight up silicone. You can see how bendy it is. Up here we have a beautiful ice staircase and his bed over here also made of ice. The graphics are just so gorgeous on all of these compacts. I love the icicles up here. That is really beautiful. We get some cute photos of Olaf just chilling in the sun. There's a picture of his nose. This one has so much personality, so much fun, and definitely captures Olaf. And here he is as a sandman, and he also made himself a girlfriend. Under the staircase, you can also see his little armoire with his clothes and his nose. This is Olaf himself. He doesn't have a hinge, but he can turn his head. And here is a beach inflatable and there is a moose on the front. That has got to be a shout out to Sven. Olaf also has this hat and a drink. And lastly, we have this hammock, which looks so cute. It looks like an orange peel. Very, very summery. This one is a deep red. Look how gorgeous that looks. And it's called Village Set. This is just Anna going to the village, going shopping. And again, I forgot which scene this was. Maybe I need to watch it a second time. She has lots of accessories in this one, which I'm very excited to open. On the back, this is what it looks like when it's displayed. I'm a fan of pink, but I'm really digging this dark red. It just looks very regal, very fancy. We are back to that same symbol, but that's okay because I honestly really, really love the design of these. 
I love how this just popped up and everything looks so symmetrical and beautiful. This is the market where all these potions and perfume and presents are being sold. These are just stickers, they're not actual textures, but I love how detailed the graphic is that they almost look realistic. And in the background is the rest of the village. I love the beautiful patterns on the roof. We even see the symbol here that tells you what they're selling. And Anna here looks so gorgeous in her yellow dress. Look at all of these patterns. She actually looks like Belle. Her feet are normal colored this time. She has cute yellow shoes. Her hairstyle has really good detail to it. They did such a good job designing these dolls. If the new Polly's look like this, I might have been okay with it. Same hinge, same articulation with her head and her arms. Here is a crate full of veggies. And here we have our bottles of potions. This looks like jam. And the last of the small compacts is this lavender one. This is called Elsa's bedroom. Here are her accessories and this is her actual bedroom setup. Here's another look at the setup on the back. And this one is another gorgeous snowflake. This is probably my favorite exterior because I love how the lavender looks. It's very representative of Frozen. This bedroom definitely fits Elsa. It's not too dark and it's not too bright. The floor patterns are so beautiful. They really, really took their time to design these graphics. Even that rug, that is so gorgeous. Her bed has beautiful patterns on it. The back of the bed has beautiful patterns as well. All the way up here, so gorgeous. Here is her vanity, just a couple items on there. The mirror isn't very reflective, but this toy has already impressed me more than I expected. So I'll let it go. The back is yet another gorgeous graphic with this beautiful triangular window. A picture of Anna, Elsa, and Olaf. I just can't get over the pattern in the background here. It's so gorgeous. The bed also has the spring mechanism, which helps pop the compact open. This entire series is called Pop because it's supposed to pop out like one of those pop-up cards. I think that's really interesting and very creative. Here is Elsa with her gorgeous nightgown. It's pearlescent. You can see the little shinies on it. Same gorgeous patterns, same cute face, beautiful hairstyle. Here is her blanket, which is silicone and squishy. This is her diary and on the back it looks like ice. That's really creative. And a cute little pink chair. And now we get to the big mamma jamma. This one is called Arendelle Castle. On the back, here's what it looks like. It is a two-story compact, and they also advertise the two little compacts that we've already unboxed. This is absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with the patterns once again. I love the texture on this roof. I love running my hands through it. The handle has its own unique pattern too. On the back we get these beautiful floral textures. They did a really good job with all of these. Every single compact I've touched so far has felt very high quality and I just love it. Our key this time is silver, so let's go ahead and unlock it. This is what the interior looks like. It's purposely empty because as you can see, all of those accessories are going to be placed in this compact. The wall patterns and colors are so, so, so beautiful. I just love how they translated all the patterns and geometric shapes right into a toy. To open up the second level, you just pull this handle here. So now what used to be on the bottom is on top. Another pattern and texture appreciation, this floor, Oh my gosh, they didn't really have to do any of this. They didn't have to go this hard for a toy. 
but they did that. They did that for me. They even considered how it would look on the back when the second level is open. It takes my breath away. It really does. Here we have Elsa and Anna. Elsa has a different dress with the same beautiful icy patterns. Anna looks the same as the market Anna because she is the same and I was really hoping she'd be different as well. But they're still beautiful, still cute, still really good quality. They have a grand piano and a throne, which we can assume is Anna's throne because she did become queen of Arendelle. A dining table with two sets of plates and silverware. Two dining chairs with that same beautiful pattern. And we have a pink and purple bed, which are Anna and Elsa's beds. More pattern appreciation. We also have these beautiful stickers which go inside the compact. Normally I don't put stickers on my toys, but these are so beautiful. And here we can see that there are numbers back there, which correspond to the numbers of the stickers. So that was the Frozen Pop Adventure set, and to be honest, I didn't really have high hopes for Disney, any Disney toys, especially Frozen because they're over-merchandised. There's just way too many merchandise out there that is Frozen and Disney, and it kind of gets to the point where it becomes meaningless because there's Disney everything. I love Disney, but when there's too much merchandise, it's kind of like junk at this point. But these are definitely not junk. They are so cute and they have the displayability factor when you put them side by side, which is very important to me as a collector. And of course the accessories and characters were so cute and so much fun to play with. I actually watched Frozen 1 and Frozen 2 before I filmed this video because I had seen the movies in bits and pieces, but never really watched them the whole way through. So I watched them and they were okay. I mean, at this point, it was overhyped because it's been out for a while. And so when I watched it, I didn't really see what was special about it, but the effects, the visuals were gorgeous. So there's that. These toys though, yes, I'm glad I added them to my collection. Thank you for watching my collection showcase and I'll see you on the next one.